You'd have made my damn night. What's her name? Jordan, what's your name, ma'am? Katie, you, sir? Right. You, sir, what is your name? You, you, you accuse me of stealing. What is your name? I'm gonna put you in handcuffs. If you don't You're not gonna put me in handcuffs. I, I didn't do a goddamn thing, and if you do, I will sue your company. Okay. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff's deputy. In today's spotlight, we will be examining the Laporte, Indiana Police Department, located in Laporte, Indiana. We will observe a situation that unfortunately occurs all too often. Police officers lacking the proper knowledge and conduct when interacting with the public. We will witness Walmart employees who wrongly accuse a man of stealing the car battery from their establishment. In reality, the customer had already used Walmart pay to purchase the battery, a fact unbeknownst to the employees who made the false accusation. When Laporte police officers arrived on scene, they quickly revealed their true nature. Instead of empathizing with the frustration and humiliation of the innocent citizen, they began to threaten him with arrest for alleged disorderly conduct. This video is brought to you by the YouTube channel Chris Cole. Please show support by subscribing to his channel. And don't forget to share your opinions in the comment section below. For now, let's get back to the video. How we doing? How you doing? What's your name? Officer X. Badge number? Or do you have a 50, contact number? 50 Laporte police. What can I do for you? What's going on? Why am I getting ask called them. out here? You oh. asked them. I didn't call you. They called you, right? Correct. What did they call you for? A possible shoplifting going Possible on. shoplifting. Let's go back in there then. Because okay. I'm going to choose the shoplifter now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. We're going to go back in now. Ask all three of y'all at the door. If I, if you accuse me of stealing a goddamn thing, and you all said no, right? Let's do it. You done made my night. What's her name? Jordan, what's your name, ma'am? Katie, you, sir? Right. You, sir, what is your name? You, you, you accuse me of stealing. What is your name? I'm gonna put you in handcuffs. If you don't you are not gonna put me in handcuffs. I, I didn't do a goddamn thing. You. And if you do, I will I sue will. your company. Okay. Well, I, I will, will sue you. I will detain you if you don't Supervisor, call you know me. You don't, you know me. You know I'm, I'm a law abiding citizen. I ain't still a goddamn thing. Right. I want your supervisor here now. I want your supervisor. That's what I want. Call your supervisor, bro. You know it. You, you know. What's going on? You better talk to him. You better be afraid you make a big fucking mistake. Get your supervisor here, bro. What's going on? I didn't call you. They called you. So get your supervisor, please. Okay. I'm asking you, bro. I'm going to tell you. Okay. Get your supervisor. What's you are on? required to get me your supervisor upon asking you. Get me your supervisor, please. I didn't do shit. They, 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 they called and said it's a, po a possible sh shoplifting, right? right? I'm pissed the fuck off. I work for my motherfucking money. Right. I ain't still shit in here. Mm -hmm. So, so ask them what's going on. I asked you for a supervisor, right? That's what's going on here now. So can I get your supervisor? You're telling me how to do my job, though. I'm not telling you how to do your job. It's your policy to, to give me your supervisor upon request, is it not? How do you know my policy if you don't work that? I've, I've read all of your policies, bro. I've read all of your policies. I am friends with your fucking, your supervisor, bro. Literally. So get your supervisor here. Your supervisor, but on a first name basis, bro. Literally, how, do you, how many like you? You've been to my hotel how many times? Right. I've had to call you guys how many times? Right. I'm, I'm even friends with the mayor, bro. So why are you? Because I've asked you for a supervisor several times and you ain't got me one. This is his area. Okay. Who's area? Yeah. Who's area? Him? Yeah. Okay. And he is your partner, right? Right. Before he makes a big mistake talking about I'm gonna put you in handcuffs, I'd like you to get your supervisor before he f up tonight. Well, so get your I'm supervisor, bro. Get your supervisor, bro. Tell him to get a supervisor, because I ain't steal shit. Are you accusing me of stealing? Who called him? Who called him and said a possible shoplifting? Because if Walmart's accusing me of stealing, I'm gonna sue the fuck out of you. You understand I that? I'm not obligated to show them anything. I'm not obligated to show them anything. Ask the lady at the self-checkout if I bought it. Go ask her. That's what you should do. Stole. Apparently, I stole a battery that I paid $194 for. Car battery? Yes. Okay. All right. So you 
get a receipt for the Yes, I do. And I'm not obligated to show them anything well, you whatsoever. Can. You kind of are. No, I'm not. Under what policy am I obligated to show them anything? Okay, I, I have suspicion that you probably didn't pay for it. You have that's suspicion that I didn't pay for it? You, please, that, that is all I need. Say it again. You have suspicion I, I have that I didn't pay for it? That you didn't pay get your supervisor. Supervisor. <laughs> under what suspicion do you think that I didn't pay for it? Well, under three, his, under what he's telling you? Yeah, three, under what he's telling you? All right, so go watch the cameras and see if I paid for it or not. Go ask the lady that was at the end of the self-checkout if I paid for it or not. Because I'm pissed off. Okay, you need to calm down. Somebody just accused me of stealing. Need to calm down. Get the supervisor and I calm down. We got one coming. So you need to you mean, calm down. Freedom of speech. Indiana Statute 35-45-1-3. A person who recklessly, knowingly, or intentionally engages in fighting or in tumultuous conduct or makes unreasonable noise or continues to do so after being asked to stop or disrupts a lawful assembly of persons commits disorderly conduct, a Class B misdemeanor. So the fact of the matter is this, yes, he could have been charged with disorderly conduct, but when you're falsely accused from stealing and there's a ton of people watching you, that's an embarrassment. And instead of the police recognizing the embarrassment that this citizen is suffering, they chose to threaten him with arrest. These are our police today. There's no decibel limit on my speech. There's no decibel limit on my speech. There's no decibel limit on my speech. It's not causing a disturbance. I'm emotionally rational at the moment. I'm, going to I'm not causing the disturbance. I'm not. Please you do it, and I will, I will fool the f out of you, bro. I'm not yelling. I'm I'm like, I have a deep voice. Maybe, we'll, maybe your lawyer went to the same law school I did. Okay. So continue the L cause the disturbance. If you continue to, to say I'm causing the disturbance, bro, okay, we're gonna have an issue. I'm not I appreciate because my voice is deep. That that that's the issue. No. This is how I talk. No, you've, you've never met me. This is how I talk. Okay. Get you're your supervisor. Get your no. You're walking a thin oh, line here, buddy. Line. Supervisor. Hey, here. Who accused me of stealing? Because I didn't steal a thing, I didn't steal a goddamn thing. What you need to do is go watch the cameras. That's what you need to go do before you accuse somebody of stealing. Before you have suspicion that somebody stole something. Before you listen to somebody else's word instead of going to actually investigate. No, you don't know. You, you swore an oath to oppose the Constitution, right? You swore an oath to oppose the law, right? That's what you did, right? But you came here and didn't do any investigating. You took it off of his word and said that I'm stealing. You have suspicion that I'm stealing. So how do you pay for this better? With Walmart pay. With Walmart How does that work? Yeah, that? Yes. Okay. It pops up on the screen a bar scanner, a barcode. Right. It gives you an option to click Walmart pay, right. and it pops up on your camera for I know you what to scan it. Exactly. That's how I pay. It doesn't give you a receipt. It pops up on your payment history on the app. I don't have to show them that damn thing. You understand that. I get you. My girlfriend is good, so I know, I know what that is. You know I don't have to show them shit. But you show them uh, Apple Pay? Or no, I didn't show them that because he assumed I paid with Apple Pay. And they don't have Apple Pay. Right. So I'm going to pay with Apple Pay. Okay. Did you pay before you came in the store? Or you paid after you I paid at the register. At the so the video cuts off there, but according to Mr. Cole, he was arrested shortly after the video ended. He's in the process of finding an attorney so he can sue Walmart and the Laporte Police Department. He's also given all updates on this case on his TikTok at Blick underscore. Make sure you go over, follow so you can find out what happens with this situation. Always make sure you know your rights and always stand up for your rights. With that being said, we the People University signing off.
Thank you for joining We The People University. If you have a video you would like us to share, please click the link in the video description. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so that you may be notified when we publish future videos. Also, don't forget to download Cancel Tyranny version 2 and learn your basic rights when there is no time to Google. Available now on Apple and Android. And if you ever wondered about what really happens behind the scenes within the police department, check out my other channel titled Cop Tales 236 to hear all of my stories about my time and experience while working as a cop. We look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you for your support.